Hi guys, welcome back to Art with Miss Karen. I have my dog Deeks here as a special guest. I just want to say thank you all for all the encouraging comments and everything that you guys have posted as suggestions. Today, we are going to take Annalise's suggestion of drawing a dog. So we're going to take my dog Deeks as inspiration. He's getting antsy, so I'm going to let him go. Oh, Deeks, be free. All right, now that Deeks is free, we are free to start our drawing. So if you don't have a piece of paper or a pencil, go ahead and pause the video and go get those things right now and then come back and you can join us. Let me switch my camera and we'll get started. All right, so today we're gonna draw my dog Deeks and one of his favorite activities is playing with his toys. And so we're gonna draw him chasing a ball around. So the first thing we're gonna do is lay out our basic shapes. So we're gonna draw a circle for his head. And I'm moving my whole arm for those movements. We have a circle for his head. And then we're gonna draw him, his whole body is gonna be stretched out running. And so we're gonna draw his body over here, an oval for his body, right next to the head, just like this. And you can connect it with lines for his neck, okay? You can add a tail for your dog. Two lines that curve next to each other. And if this is going too fast, just remember you can always pause the video if we're going too fast for you. All right, let's go ahead and use a rectangle for his snout. Okay, so right now our dog doesn't have any legs. So let's fix that. Let's go ahead and draw one rectangle coming out. This is going to be one of his legs. And the other leg can also be a rectangle. There we go. And then you're going to put ovals at the end of those rectangles for his paws. All right. And then we're gonna use a circle for the top part of his back leg, like a C, and then a rectangle for his back foot. So this shape right here is his back leg. All right, and then we need another back leg. So we're just gonna Use the same shapes, part of a circle and a rectangle. Okay, looks like he needs some ears. So for Deeks, he has ears that flop down. So we're gonna use a triangle shape that points down and the other ear on the other side, the same thing. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of the lines we don't need anymore. So we don't need the line connecting the circle to his muzzle. We don't need this line inside the ear. We don't need this line connecting to his neck. The line around his body. The line on this leg. We're gonna keep this line because it shows that this leg is on the other side of his body as well as this line here but we can get rid of this line on the leg and the line on his tail all right we're looking pretty good let's go ahead and fix up the details on his face so i'm looking at my rectangle it's looking a little bit too long so i'm going to shorten it up a little bit and this is why it's important to always use light pressure when you're drawing, so you can always erase it. Because if you push too hard, it's gonna be hard to erase. All right, let's go ahead and lay in some of these final lines. You can push harder if you know where the lines are that you're gonna keep. We can add some furry grass shapes for his cheek and a half circle for his nose. 
And for his eye, you can just do a circle. We'll keep him cute. All right, and today he had a bandana on, so if you wanna add a bandana, you can, or a collar. I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I mark in the dark lines for his neck. So I'm just gonna draw a triangle. for his bandana. All right, so there's his bandana, and then I can bring his neckline down to where it needs to be. Okay, so we've got his head, his bandana, his back. Let's continue adding in those lines that we wanna keep. So we're gonna make his foot and leg a little bit darker. And when we draw paws, we're gonna stay inside of our oval. We're just gonna make some C shapes right next to each other. Just like that. Give him that little elbow. And let's do the other one the same way. And it looks like on this foot, maybe we could see part of his paw pad underneath. So you could even color in the bottom of it so you can see that there's the bottom of his foot. All right, let's add in some more detail with the back of his leg. And you can even make this line go over and that rectangle can come underneath that circle shape. And we'll add those C lines, one, two, three of them. All right, there's one of our back legs. Do the same thing over here. One, two, three. Okay, so now we have all four legs ready to go and let's just finish off his tail. You can make it look a little furry by adding some of those grass shapes. All right, looks like we have all of our basic details for Deeks. So let's go ahead and add some of his markings. So Deeks is really interesting. He has some white spot areas on his feet and on his belly and on his face. So I'm gonna draw lines for where the white parts are gonna be separated from the brown parts. And so I'm gonna draw some lines like this that show this area is gonna be white. So his belly is gonna be white. His back paws are white. He has the tip of his tail is white. His neck is white. And he even has a stripe that comes down the middle of his face, okay? And we can even add in a circle for his eye. All right, I'm looking and I think we got all of his spots. There is one more spot on the back of his neck. You don't have to make him exactly like our dog, but Deeks does have one white spot right there. All right, he's looking pretty good. And then I'm gonna add in a few little spots because Deeks has lots of spots all over inside of those white areas. He's part German short-haired pointer, which is a breed of dog. So he's got lots of cute spots. And right now he's falling asleep on my feet. He's down there falling asleep right now. It's very nice. All right, so he looks like he's ready to start chasing whatever he's going after. So you could make anything. Maybe he's chasing a cat if you're not particularly fond of cats. Maybe you just want him to be chasing a frisbee or your sibling, whatever the case is, that's what we're gonna draw right here. But for now, I'm just gonna draw one of his favorite toys, which is just a ball. So I'm gonna draw a circle right there and he's chasing it. And you know what? Maybe our ball has a little bit of momentum going. So we can draw some lines to show that it just bounced. Just a few lines show that we have a little bit of action here. And so our ball is just came in bounced and went that way. 
All right. And maybe if you want to add some more action lines to show what Deeks is doing, you could draw some lines. Just a few. You don't need too many. But there we go. So now we see that Deeks is moving and he's chasing a ball. And you know what? Let's go ahead and give him some ground to run on. And so you can draw a line underneath the paw that's touching the ground and add some shadow. Not too much, just enough to make it look like he's not just floating on your piece of paper. All right, and there we have it. We drew my dog Deeks today. I hope you enjoyed joining us today for Art with Miss Karen. Um, if you want to share your art with me, go ahead and email it to artwithkaren at gmail.com. And I would love to see what you guys did. And I've had a few of you email me already. And so at the end of this video, I'm going to show you what other people have been up to, what they've been drawing. So if you send me your art, I'll probably put it in a video. So if you sent me something, go ahead and look for it at the end. I hope to see you guys soon.